Good evening, gentlemen. And Congressman Pappas, continuing our look at COVID-19, uh, there is worry that people are becoming fatigued. Just last week in, in the state of New Hampshire, we heard about cases of people allegedly breaking quarantine and isolation. What specific metrics would you use to determine if there should be widespread shutdowns and should the federal government supersede states that are not quelling outbreaks fast enough? Well, we want to do everything we can to avoid a second shutdown because our local businesses can't afford that, our workers can't afford it, uh, our health care system, frankly, can't afford it. That's why we need to take the steps necessary to prepare uh, the American people and the people of New Hampshire uh, with the provisions we need to do the testing, treatment, and tracing uh, and make sure we have all the supplies necessary to weather some very tough months coming up this winter. As I said, we've kept our numbers low here in New Hampshire because people believe in science, they're staying vigilant, Vigilant, but we can't get complacent at all. Uh, really, the health and safety of the American people is at stake right now. We all have a part to play, uh, and we all need to make sure we're moving in the same direction. Now, we all have to, as elected officials and as candidates for office, be modeling good behavior, and that means lifting up public health messages. I was proud early on in this pandemic to hold teletown hall meetings that nearly 100,000 Granite Staters participated in, where we elevated the voices of our pub public health community. Uh, that's how we're getting messages out to the people of New Hampshire that can keep them safe. We all have a role to play in this effort. And Mr. Maurer, same question. Well, look, you keep hearing Congressman Pappas say Congress should do this, Congress should do that, Congress should get relief. Well, Congressman, you're in Congress. If you want to get this done, you could go down there right now. In fact, uh, you know, I was at a diner the other day, and it's called Ryan's Place in Epping. I was there last Friday morning having breakfast, and a business owner, a small business owner, came to me with a tear in her eye because she started that restaurant named after her son who passed away while in, the line, while in active duty. It's a testament to him. It's an honor to him. Yet she can't get access to Paycheck Protection Program funding right now because Congress is sitting on its hands not doing anything. Congressman, we were on a call just on Friday with the Portsmouth Chamber, and you said you want to get everyone in the room and throw away the key. Well, why, where's the key? Get down there. Go to Washington, D.C. You know there's something called a discharge petition right down on the floor of the Congress right now. It means you can take a standalone vote on the Paycheck Protection Program. You've not signed it. You know why? Because Nancy Pelosi won't let you do it. You're beholden to her, and you're letting small businesses in New Hampshire fall behind. Well, Adam, I absolutely support efforts to get relief out to our small businesses. Then go and do it, Congressman. And I'll support any bill that will provide the necessary help. And I don't need a lecture from someone who moved here for a political career just not true, about the Congress vibrancy man. of our small business community here in New Hampshire and what they need. We fought every step of the way to put resources on the table. We passed the Paycheck Protection Program as part of the CARES Act. We put more funding into it to make sure that it got out to the smallest businesses who needed help. And we ensured that it had the flexibility that it needed based on the feedback that we got from New Hampshire businesses. Now, I voted for two major packages, the HEROES Act that Matt Mowers opposed. That would have provided the support Congress needed but we've got to get a deal done That's i'm time. encouraged that there are some good signs this week we've got to get this over the finish line to help new hampshire business owners and workers well, i told you the congressman would say a few things tonight and then not do follow through on in washington dc you didn't expect it to happen so early in the debate but congressman that that uh, heroes act you talked about would provide billions of dollars for the release of violent felons from prison we provide billions of dollars of uh, stimulus checks to illegal immigrants at a time when our small businesses were hurting. Let's not forget, Congressman, you were on a call at the outset of COVID-19 with your party leadership where they said, let's use this as an opportunity to advance our agenda. This isn't a time for agendas. This is a time to put the American people first. We've all been Im impacted by this. This is absolutely a time. This is absolutely a time. Go do your job. This is absolutely a time to put the American people first, Matt. And I've been fighting for that each and every step of the way. I've signed letters. I've called on leadership to come to the table and cut a deal. What have we seen? The president tweeted last week that he wanted to end negotiations. Uh, Mitch McConnell this week said he's advising the White House not to come to the table and do a deal before the election. We've got to fix this. And the only way I know how to do it is to vote for legislation, co-sponsor legislation, call on our leadership to do it, and bring the stories of everyday Granite Staters down to Washington, D.C. I continue to do that. I continue to be informed by the stories that I hear all across our state. And we've got to act as quickly as we possibly can on this, and I'm committed to it. That's time, 15 seconds. Yeah, very, very briefly, I mean, Congressman, you continue to say you want to call out leadership. You've never said one single thing about your leader, Nancy Matt, Pelosi. I have. You voted with her 100% of the time. Matt, that's not true. It is true, Congressman. Matt, that look, is not actually, true. Actually, folks, for everyone at that home, because, look, the Congressman gets a Matt little cites unruly this right now. Statistic. It's, it's actually online. Every... If folks want to go online and actually look Let's it up, move they can on go to, to the ProPublica, see his voting record. Let, he votes let me for just Nancy say, Pelosi Matt, the Speaker, the the Speaker of the House does not vote. The Speaker of the House has voted a few dozen times. I've taken over 900 votes in the House 
80% of those have been bipartisan votes. So know your facts, Matt.